guys, welcome to my channel. It's my very first video. So, Yay. <laughs> so today's video will be about a get to know me tag. So my friend Geneva will be asking me all these questions she put together for me. But before we continue with everything, I'll just ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel, mm -hmm. hit the notification ring, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like, comment, whatever mm -hmm. you want. And don't forget to also follow my friend Geneva Quena on her YouTube channel. Please show us some love. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. Yes. Okay, um, so are you single or taken? I know. I'm taken. In case somebody likes you and they want to like hit you up. No, <laughs> taken. I'm very much taken. taken. Sorry. And then what's your favorite song? So with my favorite song, like I just go with the vibe. Whatever is hitting the, you know. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever. The board, whatever I can dance to, you mm -hmm. know. Guys I'm actually like that. I'm, I'm actually mm -hmm. the same. Whatever, whatever goes with me. You don't want to break hearts. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> so, um, your first kiss. So my first kiss was like back in 2011. Mm -hmm. So I was like in grade nine, and I had this boyfriend of mine. He was actually a sweet boy. So it was actually just like practicing my first lamps on, on a real person. So <laughs> mm -hmm. it was like. Okay. experience show. So it was actually a literally proper proper kiss. Yeah. No and back. Proper proper no, kiss. No, it was like lamsa lamsa lamsa. Mm. Guys, you remember. <laughs> so it was like that. Okay, since you were in grade nine and mm -hmm. uh, prior to that you've never kissed anybody, right? No. So did no. you like it was just you, like hugging, you yeah. know, yeah. Did you like did you like practice before or because it was the first one. Do you play yeah. tennis? Do you watch videos? What, what was no, that? No, I think the video was insane. Like, I couldn't yeah. go to those sites. I was scared. Yeah. But I just did like oranges, you know. <laughs> and at the time, like, internet was not like, you know, something yeah. we could just go to. Yes. So it wasn't an exposure to yeah. me. So, so we, quite we just like did the know. orange thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, any, let's see, um, any sports that you played at school? I actually did athletics, like you in did. primary mm -hmm. and just beginning of high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really active there. Yeah, but that's nice actually. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any piercings? Any piercings? No, I don't mm -hmm. have a piercing. I actually did. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's blocked now. Yeah. <laughs> so let me tell you the story about this Which piercing area high happened. Area? Oh my gosh, on my belly. Oh, so we can't really see it. No. So it's kind of like closed mm -hmm. up. But like, um, you know how I got this uh, belly ring? Mm -hmm. So one day, um, it was actually, I was actually writing my metric, my final maths mm -hmm. paper. Mm -hmm. So like that paper hit me like it was paper to you know geometry. <laughs> like, guys, geometry <laughs> used to hit my brain. Mm -hmm. So like afterwards, like the girl had this thing of um after the exam they discuss the answers oh yeah and you know everybody like, does it <laughs> i could do it like we all did that but yeah. like with like nice subjects with mm -hmm. like your geography yeah. your history you know yeah, your life science you your maths <laughs> it's like <laughs> no i'm running so i ran so you left them i left them yeah just I to ran. go get a piercing no so like i'm stressed <laughs> because i'm not calculating in my head like all these marks i got mm -hmm. so Walking now to to Gandhi's so yeah. I'm going to get my my yeah. bus now. Mm -hmm. Walking to Gandhi's school now, I see this uh, piercing shop. I don't know if you guys know it, but like there's like this tattoo and piercing shop. <laughs> there's a still there. I have no idea. I haven't <laughs> actually been to Gandhi's <laughs> school. <Yeah. laughs> so I get in there. I want to, I wanted to have a tattoo actually. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, now we're discussing the price and everything. We're like, no, it's above my five mm -hmm. So I'm like, how about a piercing? I'm like, I oh, actually, I I think it was like a hundred or two hundred. Mm -hmm. I'm like. Piercing is perfect, so I do the piercing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, so so did your mom ever find out about you? No, baby, nothing at no, all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, any secrets that you you would like to share with us? You know, something no. that you've never told anyone, and you're still keeping it, and you don't mind sharing with your people. Okay, just because you know things has to be out now. We have to let things out now. Like we can't keep compressing it. Mm -hmm. So like talking about it. Yeah, yeah. you. Know, need to let it out guys mm. like someone has to hear you mm. so um there was this event where by back home like because i'm from i'm from congo drc mm. so Yay. yeah guys <laughs> 
so back home like we we used to live in like big families so we will stay like in our grandmother's house just like the culture here it's not different yeah. so we'll stay like in our grandmother's house and it's a place where like all the cousins we all meet up mm -hmm. so we had a specific one who used to he was a soldier so he used to go to the um, to war and stuff so whenever he came back we were so excited to see him we'll yeah. go hug him and stuff and you bring him like sweet yeah you know he was just like that kind of brother so like but what he used to do is like he'll put me i don't know if it ever happened to any other of you know any other cousins of mine mm -hmm. but like he used to put us like in between put me in between like his legs and i could feel like he's you know hard on on me mm -hmm. but like back then you don't even understand it you just feel that it's normal but mm -hmm. it's like this thing was really happening to me it's like mm -hmm. what was happening so i'm like thinking mm -hmm. about it but poor thing passed away mm -hmm. How old were you then? So I was like seven years. I was like seven, eight years. So like it's and you know back then how like sex wasn't like very much exposed. It's mm -hmm. like when something like that happened, it's like what is it? It's you don't even yeah. think it's yeah. that it's abuse or anything. Yeah. So I really went through that and thinking about it was it was real. It mm -hmm. happened. Mm. And how would you even tell your parents? Like where would you even start? How would you even start? So yeah. Yeah, so yep. that's kind of a situation. But it don't affect me, so mm -hmm. I just, I was like, you know, um, mm -hmm. the worst thing, like the worst didn't happen, so mm -hmm. yeah, I try to are, keep yeah. positive and move. Yeah, it's, it, it's like now that you hear stories of other people coming forward and they talk about things like that, you go like, you realize. Yeah, it, it, it was never mm -hmm. actually wrong. Mm -hmm. He wasn't supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, let's not to get emotional, guys. No. Let's move on to the fun part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, any place that you'd like to visit or move to? Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Mm -hmm. I know that one. Let me guess. Yeah, you do. Let me guess. <laughs> it's a place that's cold. <laughs> apparently, cold. I've never been there, but apparently, it's very cold. Very cold. So it must be London. <laughs> yeah, absolutely UK. correct. Yeah. Like you know me, period. <laughs> Yeah, so the reason why it's just because I have someone very attached to that side and it's just that thing that I want to go and see them again just before, you know, and he's very old and stuff. So he's like my second dad. Aww. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uncle David, me. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, and especially now with the whole um, um, pandemic, the COVID Yeah, so you just worry that, you know, yeah. is it safe, mm -hmm. you know? Because it's like you don't even have, it's like this COVID thing is so weird. You don't even have to be out there, but boom, you go test you positive. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, <laughs> you know? Mm. Just by touching one thing. One Imagine. Thing. In your groceries. Yeah. Yeah, so it's important to like clean our groceries before mm -hmm. you actually put them in the house and clean, mm -hmm. clean them properly. Like, and you know, even this yeah. hair situation, imagine it's just sitting on your head, then you like flip your head, it's yes, in your you, eyes or yeah, something. It's so weird. That's crazy. I don't want my hair anymore. Hell no, I don't want my hair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so um, one reason you'd lie to your friends, like, you know, you know, you in that situation where, um, okay, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> you're already laughing, okay, just answer. <laughs> So you know this child is so bad. I can never <laughs> lie to her. But it's like this instance where my girls, like me and my guy, we've been going through back and forth. So mm -hmm. it's like whenever we actually settle back down, it's like mm -hmm. I'm going to tell her. I'm just gonna lie, but she always catch me. So whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely the case. And it happens to most girls. Like you know, it's like I don't know. You know, you you tell you, you tell your girls that you're not dating this person anymore, and the next day you sleep with them. Like what the and you can't tell your friends because they're going to judge you. Mm. Yeah, it's actually sad. It's sad being a woman. But we don't judge each other. Anymore. Yeah, that's yeah, why we don't lie. Yes, 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 which is actually great. Yeah. So you yeah. should build that. Yeah. Us. But it's actually hard to build that. You know, yes. it took us a while. It took yeah. us months. Because, like, we have to learn each other and study each other's mm. character. Like, what will she react? How will yeah. she react to this? So we actually had to learn. Yeah. <laughs> it was so hard. It was. <laughs> like, like, even now, like, I keep telling you bit and bit and bit. Yeah. Because, like, honestly, they are friends. Friends that I have out mm. there, like I'm sorry, my girls, but like there are friends that yeah. I have out there that you cannot actually express everything yeah. because you don't it's know, judged. you don't know where they stand from, like mm. you know, and, and you never know if they, they might keep it a secret or tell somebody else, you know, mm. yeah, and especially in your type of community. Yo, yo, you guys are so strict. Hey, but let's not, let's not get into it. Let's mm -hmm. not get into it. Yeah. But you know, I, I feel like Hong Kong, these people know and they understand. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Is there any code that you live by? 
so guys i actually um so with the uh, english learning process the thing you know i actually came across this sentence that said um a journey of a thousand miles begin with one step so that's actually motivated me so much in the learning of the of um my english mm -hmm. and and not just that just in life jay like you have to you have to if you set a goal you have to start somewhere you don't just have to like sit back and hope that that thing will fall from the sky mm -hmm. nothing falls from the sky like you have to even if you start from the bottom like it will pay off so okay. yeah eventually yes it does yeah that's true so yeah that quote always stays mm -hmm. in mind yeah, like you mustn't keep. You mustn't. Okay, what, how, how can I put it? Like, like don't dwell on 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 um, your age. Yes, that you're too old yes, or, or too young. Or too young to start. Mm. Or maybe or because of, of my like, circumstances. Yeah, no, that you come from. No like, don't dwell on those things. Just, just take a it. step. Just do it. Mm. Just start. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I hear you. Anyway, what motivates? While we're speaking about that, what motivates? you? So guys, I have actually, I have a baby boy, actually he's, he's my head and he's the cutest baby I've ever yeah. seen guys, he's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> so I had him quite young but not like young young, I was 22 when I had him and like you know when you have a child it's like your whole world changes, you see things differently like you like responsibility goes from zero to a hundred, it's like I have to get up. Like nobody has to force you to get up at five o'clock in the morning. He, you'll just see him. You'll be like, okay, I have to do it. Yeah. I have to work. I have to do it. I have to have some activity. Like when you have a kid, I don't know about you guys out there, but it's like for me, my kid motivates me big time. Yeah, I could yeah. be sick and I'll work. Yeah. Yeah, and it's actually true. Like you, you come to work when we, when we can see you not well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just the motivation. That it's actually very nice. Yeah. You see. Having a kid is not a bad idea because they'll always motivate you. Everybody needs some something to motivate them to work harder. Yeah. Just get some sort of responsibility. If it's not a child, pay a bond, yes. pay a car, something that just that, that's a responsibility. Even your parents, like yeah. something. Yeah, something, you know? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Um and what's your favorite season and why? So my favorite season is autumn. Mm -hmm. So I was born in May, so I like kind of like enjoy that middle weather, like not yeah. too hot, not too cold. You know, you yeah. can still wear like a vest and a jacket together, like mm -hmm. you know, it's good fashion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's close to that? Would you go for winter or summer? No, I would like push toward winter because I <laughs> me too. I, I want to keep winter. it covered, mm, right? Yeah, and and the fashion as well is quite nice. It's nice, winter. like guys your boots your high boots like yeah. your 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 leggings your yeah. like, and you don't even have to worry about um your tummy no it's new fat or anything in winter it's really nice guys, I like it. i've been struggling with those baby bumps forever <laughs> yeah. i don't know guys yeah. i know you could tell me to gym okay yeah. fine but it's not too bad it's though. not too it's bad, not too bad yeah. but you know those insecurity kind of thing yeah. i think we all have them yeah we all have them yeah so good weather and cold weather. Yes, I think you'll do very well in the UK then, right? Yeah, see, you'll do very well. See I think what I'll I mean? do very well. That's my destination. Definitely. <laughs> and then, um, have you ever disliked something and then changed your mind about it? Yeah. So, I once went out with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I went to an out with my friends, guys. So this, it's like you go out. It's like we always go out, ne? But like that specific day we went out, it was like we were like on vodka and everything. I was like, mm. I am never, mm. ever going to drink again. Like I'm ne like this idea of going out. I'm yeah. never gonna. Do <laughs> Guess what? That was wrong. <laughs> the next weekend we're on it, mm -hmm. ne? So we're on it again. Yo. Hmm. But it was crazy here that it was, it was a crazy weekend. It was very crazy. But if we won't get into too much details. No. Anyone, please. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it private. <laughs> and then um what's your most frequent used emoji? Okay. Guys, I have my phone here. Yeah, yeah. I'm please. gonna show you what's happening. Like in in that guys, yo, it irritates me. I don't know how I don't know how 
how to say this. So I, really don't. I literally just mostly use my like created emoji there. Imagine. I don't know if you can see. But beside that, obviously I laugh a lot, so <laughs> I love the tear and the tilted head love. <laughs> like thing. everything, every sentence. Yeah. She has to say that. Oh my god, it irritates me so much. But anyway, that's Prisca for you. <laughs> so um Okay, if you could find out um how you were going to die, would you want to know? Like, guys, I know that death it's like a natural thing yeah. and like we shouldn't be scared and mm -hmm. stuff but like I'm not scared of dying I'm just scared of like sometimes I think about it it's just the process of like that decomposition and I'm like I don't want to go through that so I don't even want to find out don't tell me don't tell me if you want to kill me just kill me don't tell me I'm gonna kill you just kill me <laughs> now you're completely this is coming out <laughs> It's coming out, guys. <laughs> no, um, yeah, no, but okay, okay. Speaking of that, mm -hmm. but what would you prefer? Like, if, if you if you had a choice of choosing how you want to die, how what would it be? To like, like to like be sick and then no, I just wanna be on my bed. Maybe be sick because a lot of people will get closure. They'll be like, yeah. oh, she was sick. She really struggled, mm -hmm. and you know, it's and, like, they, and they kind of deal with it. Yes, they to it yes because they'll be like, we saw her struggle. Yeah. We saw her pain. At least she's yeah. resting. And like resting. you just like sudden die, like yeah. accidents. Like oh, I was just with her. We don't expect yeah. us. We what didn't happened? say goodbye. We didn't say goodbye. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. Rough. Yeah. Yeah, I like to be sick. Yeah, but, but you imagine like really, really suffer. I don't know. You imagine suffer, yeah. suffer, suffer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to the next one, and the next one is how many people have you kissed? Like, guys, my hair, my braids. Hey, 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 hey. How many people have you kissed? Who keeps track of beds? <laughs> so, guys, <laughs> let me say in my matured. What age range are we starting at when you like mature? Can we at least say 17? Mm -mm, not 17, let's do 21. 21? <laughs> yeah. Okay, 21, let me just say one person. I'm not in trouble. Okay. One person it is. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> this, is, this is quite personal. Have you peed on the bed? Like, you know, you know when you're a kid, you tend to pee a lot. And what age did you stop peeing on the bed? <laughs> You know me very well. I think you were picky with those questions. <laughs> it's just that you told me the story, so, I, so that's why I kind of put on the question. So yeah, guys, give us the details. This was witchcraft. Mm. You know what is witchcraft? We call it in Lingala Kindoki. Yo, yo. Witchcraft. Ah, this is real, guys. <laughs> so guys, it's like every child. I don't know about this new generation, like you know, but like it was like every child that grew up in Congo mm. peed on the bed. Just if you disagree with me, Nate, just tell me like if you're from Congo and you know what I'm talking about, please like you know, you know what I know. Mm. So like we always like we peed on it's like this thing that you know you dream that you pee. Oh yeah. And you literally pee. <laughs> it's like why don't you just stand up and go pee? Yeah. I never understood why we did yeah. but we peed guys. Mm. And then it's like now after peeing and stuff, obviously you can't leave the mattress and yeah. everything in the you know the bed and stuff. Yeah. In the, in the bedroom so we had to take it out so when we take it out so we have like a huge house and then it's like the bedroom the corridors mm -hmm. and it's like the lounge the dining the mm -hmm. guys and you have like this big dripping like wherever you are walking and now my <laughs> and my uncle is sitting there mm -hmm. as we pass mm -hmm. as words pass also <laughs> like he don't he insulted us yeah. every single day of our lives and so we stopped being I stopped like around eight years old. Mm. Imagine like, eight guys. You guys, it was strong. Mm. Like you don't even know how to stop it. That the mm. thing, cause it's like, it it was which confession? No, most definitely. But anyway, anyway, let us know what you think. You can like. Yeah, let us know what you think. People that are from Congo, mm. let us know if it really happens. I, it was, I, I, it I, was I, normal. I don't believe her. I think it was just maybe a medical condition that we don't know of. But. If, if you guys have suffered the same thing, please let us know. Yeah, I'd love to know if and, it's really, really rich crap. And it's amazing because you know how you, you get to like, um, when it's like cold weather and you have mm -hmm. like so much pee, but like in yeah. we have no excuse, it's like so hot. Mm -hmm. I mean, we also get cold weather. Yeah, but, like it's, really, not, yes. but it's like 
40 degrees like yeah. why do you pee when it's 40 degrees yeah. doesn't make sense yes. and we have mosquitoes to wake us up in the night but we yes. don't wake up yeah Yo, it's the same as Limpopo. So, oh my god, Limpopo is me? so hot. And the mosquitoes. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. Anyway, um, have you ever asked somebody out? <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe my girlfriend's yes, but it's not like that. I don't like okay. a bullshit. Yeah. Like, okay. No, I'm so shy. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> shy, guys. I don't, I don't believe that. But anyway, <laughs> um, let's see. Have you ever been dumped? So guys, I have been dumped. Um, it's just, so there's this thing about Mini. Like when I get in a relationship, like mm. it has to be, we have to get married. Like, <laughs> can we just stop playing? Because I, I think you, if you mm. date me, it's because you're older and you're ready to get married. Like don't come to me and playing games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, no, I, I, I honestly think, I'm sorry. I'm going to be biased here. I think it's a cool release thing, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually so. shocked. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was actually shocked when I met her and, the, and that's what she told me. <laughs> I was like, yo, I wish we some kids were like that, guys. Well, some are like that. You know, they date, they want marriage. But, mm-hmm. you know, we, we are kind of past that in a way. You know, we're kind of past it because, yeah, you guys know, don't want to get married. You know why it's so sad? It, because mm-hmm. I was, like, literally in grade 10 or 11, mm-hmm. 10 going to 11 somewhere, mm-hmm. that's when I was dating the guy mm-hmm. and I felt like that, I felt like you know, Imagine. we could like grow together, I could finish school, then we would get married and, then... and that was just fantasy to us guys that was just fantasy, you can't even say it out loud no, I was thinking yeah. about it like that mm-hmm. so this guy, you mm-hmm. know so like, that's actually a nice now. trait yeah, like, it kind of it kind of also you kind of show the guy that you are serious you want mm-hmm. to, you want to, you want to get married eventually yeah. oh. and some guys will take you seriously some guys won't, so you, you just need to bet. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. So mm-hmm. the deal with this guy was like, okay, we're dating, everything is nice and sweet. So we do all this outing. He was a very sweet yeah. guy, but anyway. So like uh, now, like my parents are creeping out on social media, mm-hmm. and they find me on Facebook. You know, like then like Facebook was the thing. Yeah. So they find me on Facebook. It's like hot, you know, when you like uh, pick mix your pictures and like put hearts and all. That. Yo, Candy. Mm-hmm. My parents and his parents they like knew each other. Mm-hmm. So they now were like they were family like, friends. Yeah, they're like yeah. family friends. Mm-hmm. Now they were like, you know, they are now disagreeing mm-hmm. with the relationship. Speaking everything. of that, I'm I'm gonna stop you there. That's why you actually thought of marriage because you're like family friends. So no, it's like it's like, like it's mm-hmm. like it was like family friend in a way that yeah. my parents knew each other but okay. like we don't know of their uh, relationship then oh, like, oh, oh you we, guys didn't know yeah then like we oh, met it's like that thing that we met and then we're like we're not yeah. even family so why yeah. not why so, not yeah. yeah okay I see what and you, you also think that just because mm-hmm. you know parents know where he's from so mm-hmm. maybe they'll agree of yes. you know his education and you know how they follow all this yeah. education stuff and what That's but so ha, mm-hmm. backfired <laughs> <laughs> so the guy was like, you know, um, he's actually the first boy in his family. Mm-hmm. He's like, you know what? I'm like the big brother of my family. I don't want, you know, my parents to be talking ab- about this thing around mm-hmm. my siblings and yeah. stuff. And we just like cut it off and everything. You know, it was what it was, but you know, we made peace and no. Happened a long time. Like I was so depressed. I used to cry. I used to call his sisters. Like please talk to him. Like what's going on? I still love him. Your yes. obsession. Yes. Yes. Yeah, your yeah. best attempt marriage. Yeah. 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 Um, have you ever lied about your age? Okay, never mind. You don't have to lie about your age because it's so short. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't have to lie about your age. No, but yeah, I. Cause like I could always lie that I'm older because guys like yeah. I have all the fr- like all the girls that I chill with even like yeah. shout out to the Mama Congo love I yeah. think all the girls I chill with they're all they're like older than me you know mm-hmm. but um I feel that I'm like almost reaching day so I don't have to lie my age because if I lie that I'm older mm-hmm. it's like people will know that she's lying so yeah. I can't lie that I'm older I can't lie that I'm younger so yeah. I can't be young I don't want to be young yeah. I want to be day <laughs> so no I don't lie my age. And, then mm-hmm. and also, you are so mature for your age, like you really mature. I don't yes. know, I, I don't think she wants to say her age yet, but no. you are so mature for your age, which is really nice. I Thank like you. that. But I'll share my age, it's not a big deal, but yeah, <laughs> yes, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so have you ever smoked? Like, smoked as in anything from okay, from smoking cigarette 
weed and also did you ever take any drugs before? Um, I've smoked cigarettes, mm -hmm. I've, um, I've smoked, I've tried weed, <laughs> I've tried weed, um, I don't like it, I don't like the smell, um, drugs I've never been exposed, okay, if weed is part of drugs, but you know, drugs in the form of, you know, yeah, that like those, those powder that those just powder, need, cocaine, or injection, yeah. those weird things, yeah. you know, I've never been exposed to, so I've never tried it, mm -hmm. and, that's, it's not something that interests me. I hate smoking because you know my lungs is very fragile, mm -hmm. so I don't like smoke mm -hmm. situation. But mm -hmm. you know you smoke when people smoke around you in that term indirectly yeah, like that. Yeah, with weed. Mm -hmm. yeah, with weed. Apparently, can make you high. Yeah, 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 it can actually make you high. Yeah. Apparently, we don't know if that's true. But not directly. Yeah. You know, like, no. yeah, but I, I've also never tried weed. But yeah, with that theory of being around people that you can actually inhale it. Yeah. Um, you also you also get high. Mm. I avoid people that smoke weed. Anyway, let's see. Who has seen you without clothes? Have you ever been in that situation where you were not supposed to be naked, but you happened to get naked? <laughs> you no. know that situation? No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know I'm laughing. So it's actually happening this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no. So like I have my brother and my sister over mm -hmm. for the weekend, but you know, you just go direct through because I don't want them to leave. Yeah. So they're like, supposed to leave on Tuesday, right? Yeah. Oh, look at you now. Look at you being an older sister. <laughs> <laughs> so like we're all sharing my bedroom and stuff. So I'm actually I left them my bed and, mm -hmm. and everything. I'm sleeping on the couch and everything. Yeah. But it's like so to sweet. dress up, yeah, I know. But like to dress up for what now? I like can't chase them out, you know. Yeah, like I have okay. to dress up. <gasps> then my mother just wakes up, I'm like wearing my underwear. I'm like, <laughs> how old is he again? My brother is thirteen. Guys. Oh my god, that's the age where they start exploring. Oh, no. He just went straight up. I'm like, what's wrong with mine? No, it's really so, so awkward when we get back home. Yeah, but. I, uh, Oh I think I'll just like ignore as if you know nothing happened because yeah. I didn't scream at him. I just yes. you know I just like acted fast and mm -hmm. just worried quickly and just like bent down so that yeah. he doesn't see like my body. That's so weird. <laughs> That's so weird. Yo, so what has happened to you? But otherwise, um, yeah. no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Have you ever been attracted to the same sex? No, I haven't. But you went to it to an all girls school, right? I did, yeah. guys. I went to Ethlon Girls. Shout out to all the girls from mm. Ethlon. Mm. Um, I went to a girls school here, yes, but like it was something that was like far from my. I mean, we girls are very beautiful. We like attracting yeah. beings out there. Like, yo, I see girls like you know, I like say you beautiful and stuff, but mm. like I'm not attracted like that as like mm. lesbian like thing. No, I did not. Let me actually tell you, I actually had my best friend, who mm. been best friend like in grade 8 and 9. And then she asked me out like that. Mm. At school? At school! Jeez. I was so disappointed guys, mm. like, like, yo, I don't want to break her, but mm. I was like, you know, like, I am mm. not that person, you know? Mm. So like, and like, I literally disconnected with her. That's so sad. I know. Because I was just as afraid that you know me being around her even more would just you know trigger that, mm -hmm. and I don't want to be to be drawn mm -hmm. in that. So that's yeah. why I had to like distance myself. Mm -hmm. Not that I hate people, you know, uh, lesbians out there. You know, you still you can choose your sexual sexuality. <laughs> sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it wasn't my thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. It wasn't my thing. Yeah. No. Okay. So um. Yeah, no, I hear you. It's but but it, it's actually very sad. Like you know, you know, you're friends with this person, yeah. and then and she was yeah. my best friend. I loved her so much. Okay. So you guys, did you ever reconnect? No, we tried. We, we tried. tried. We still. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We spoke in school, back at school, but now it's like we just like each other photos on Instagram, That's Facebook. Sweet. But then yeah. um. 
Like, did you guys, like, maybe, maybe you guys should have probably tried to talk about it, you know? Oh, no, so, like, you just kill that awkwardness. It was, it was like, when something is awkward and we are school kids and we just, we can just run away from it. Mm. It wasn't like, we want to confront each other. Like, yes. I don't know if you guys were mature enough to, like, talk about things, but I felt yeah. that I could just, like, walk here and she could walk there and then we just clear yeah. the way like that. That is so weird, mm. though. It's so it's weird. Sad. Yeah. It's so very sad. Anyway, guys, so for... You know, lesbians that wanna hit her up, hey, it's a no no guys. Sorry. It's a no go zone. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's a wrap of our Q and A questions and yeah. answers. Thank you so much guys mm. for actually watching. Mm. And if you just joined now that uh, we just we were just talking about, you know, my whole life. Mm. experience so I just shared more details but you know we'll be talking about it again in my upcoming videos mm. uh, in more details but please mm. don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please follow my girl Geneva Quena <laughs> and thank you for watching this video guys and also give it a thumbs up guys if you liked it give it a thumbs up like like, yes, like, like and then like. if you have any comments list them below and we take yeah. critics yes 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 we do yeah so <laughs> yeah. we'll see you again like let's uh, i'll be updating you guys we'll be doing like uh beauty we'll be doing skin uh skincare we'll be doing hair mm -hmm. tutorial we'll be vlogging and like fashion and fa fashion yeah she's quite good we have to do fashion like yeah. guys mm -hmm. can we talk about fashion under budget like yes yes that would be so nice i would, I would definitely love to watch the yeah. videos please so please. It must be your next one. Yeah, it's like it really has. under budget, but when you look really hot. Yeah, too. like you don't have to like break the yes. bank. You don't have to like sell yeah. mom's credit card. Like. No. And you can like places that you can go to, like what small street? Yeah. Mr. Price. Mr. Price. Mr. Price. The Pix. PQ. PQ. Shout yes. out to PQ. Like, Shout out to Who made PQ? Yes, PQ is nice, guys. Yo, I don't know. Like they sell really Cause nice you get shops mm. in actually in small street that are like expensive. Mm. Hey? Yes, yeah, you yeah, actually get them that good expensive. Yeah, like, this is a Nigerian shops, and they they literally have nice nice. They stuff. have like the fashion yeah. hype like, and the quality, the material. Ooh, shout out to Nigerians, guys. Yo, in town, yeah, you know. <laughs> so guys, yeah. this is a wrap for now. So we'll see you again. Yay! Bye, Bye guys.